based in Keaau, the Big Island Substance Abuse Council is helping to transform the lives of those struggling with addiction. Uha recently awarded BISAC with two grants to help support their mission. I was in my addiction for 25 years and I just celebrated 10 years sober um, yesterday. I'm a man that came from, the, came from the depths of drug hell, I would say. I had a lot of childhood trauma. I'm a former addict who was in this program a long time ago, but now I work here as a peer specialist. I just was promoted last week to being the addiction care coordinator for BISAC. The Big Island Substance Abuse Council provides services for individuals who are struggling with addiction as well as mental health. About 60% of our individuals that we serve are of Native Hawaiian ancestry. I believe it's important. A lot of our clients, they are of Hawaiian ancestry. So through culture, we have different forms of therapy like hula, we have oli, we have even the type of breathing that you do or ha. They want to even be able to speak. The littlest thing like being able to introduce themselves in Hawaiian is important and that brings so much empowerment. <laughs> I think it's kind of like, like a cultural program too. If I never get sober, if I never get clean, and BISAC never helped me, I will never be able to touch and reconnect with my culture. And that is what I'm really, really grateful for, because today, today I'm culturally rooted. The things that we do here at the Big Island Substance Abuse Council really supports that. It's not just substance abuse treatment, but it's including all of these types of services that provide them a second chance. So the OHA money will be spent to actually furnish and put our bunk beds in here. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs had put it out to the public about a grant that would be able to support services like ours. We have individuals coming out of prison, coming out of the jails that really have nothing on them. And so having these micro units will be able to build capacity and will be able to allow others to come into treatment and hopefully be able to house more than 100 individuals. I just want to say that if you are out there struggling in addiction, if you know you have a loved one, a family, a friend that really needs some help, all of you struggling with drugs and alcohol, especially Hawaiian Native people or Hawaiian Native men and women. To come, you know, to full healing, to, to work on our insights, to find our trauma or whatever the hurt, hang-ups and habits that we have so that we can become productive members of our society, our community, and just build fruit from that and let that pour our blessings pour onto our children and our children and on and on this generation goes on. If you know that you need the help, reach out. No need be shame. We're here to support you. And someone is always there to help you guide you along the way.